All right, everybody, we're back here in Madison Creek today. It is 6 o'clock in the morning, and uh, I just wanted to kind of give you an update on the map, what I've done so far, because lots of things have changed. Uh, I'm not planning on really having this map be a, you know, like everybody sees everything I do on here. I just want to kind of pop back in here every once in a while, update you on the farm, kind of fill you in on what's been going on. And uh, also take some suggestions. I mean, I'm, I'm open to suggestions, too, if you want to see something or if I need to be doing something differently, whatever. Um, so the main thing I've got right now is trying to generate income. And uh, while, you know, we were away, let me get back here to the map. Uh, so fields number uh, 2 and 13 we owned by default. I've planted both of those in grass. If I come right over here, you can see. Uh, fruit type is grass and it's ready to harvest so me speeding through the night uh, really helped that out uh, and then field 13 over here let's run over here right let me just turn that off so we can see minimize that I want to see if this field okay well it says it's still growing okay I was gonna wait till all this grass was ready to be harvested so this over here you can see the difference right there there's the line jump over here it's grass is taller than in the field because I just planted this like yesterday yesterday in game <laughs> um, yeah so uh, fields 2 and 13 are both planting grass the reason for that is I wanted to fill up at least one of these uh, silage bins over here you can see if I turn the F1 on we, we got uh, over half a million liters in here which is you know pretty good considering I've only harvested uh, field two in the surrounding area and then across the road over here uh, where this pond is and this little barn and whatever that is uh, all this grass over here which I think is ready to be harvested again it looks like it yeah I bet that's that's fully grown so we can harvest this again but so I'm waiting for all of this to be ready to be cut and uh, picked up again and then like I said I'd, I'd like to try to fill up uh, you know this this bin right over here which I think we can do no problem uh, once field number 13 is ready to be harvested uh, we should have more than enough right over in this area uh, so also while we were away uh, if you look up in the top left of the screen uh, field number 60 I bought it and if you notice right below field number well see let's just do this I'll go over here to the map so uh, let me turn grass on okay so field number 60 right here um, I bought it I believe I bought that one first I can't remember I either bought this one first and then this little section down here but if you look at the the lands you see we own these two now uh, field 60 had about uh, let's see I think it was right about 12 acres maybe of uh, of wheat that was ready to be harvested so I went ahead and bought it harvested that and then this little piece right here is mostly grass because I really wanted a another you know way to collect the grass for silage and then eventually make hay bales so I needed another hay field so this one was only I don't know 20 around twenty thousand dollars or something or maybe maybe it was 36 or 37 something like that I can't remember now but uh, the reason I, I was able to do that was <laughs> well I don't know if this is a good idea or not but I borrowed hundred and thirty thousand dollars you can see right there a loan of a hundred so we got to pay that back at some point uh, there's going to the interest is going to continue to pile up uh, in fact uh, let's see where does it show yeah loan interest so I'm paying three hundred and sixty five dollars a day uh, for that hundred thirty thousand dollar loan so I need some ways if y'all can think of some good ways to I, mean, I may just have to grind it out I don't know you know like make hay bales and uh, replant with wheat and sell the wheat and then bale the straw and sell that which I did on field number 60 uh, the other field field number 11 down there near our farm I did harvest that wheat and dropped the straw swath and baled it and but that with that one I stored it right over here in this uh, right here so we've got uh, 
think it's 200 and yeah 236 bales so it's about a little over halfway full and I'm just gonna leave that for now because I plan on at some point uh, this barn right over here uh, ex I believe accepts cows and so I'm gonna uh, get some cows probably start off small I might go with only like 10 or something to start with and then uh, we'll use these straw bales and this silage once it's ready and then also right over here I've got I don't have anything in there yet but I've got a, uh, a barn here for hay so we'll make a TMR out of that I did buy a plow and I don't remember where I got this but it's a John Deere something or another it does pretty good it's just a 8 meter wide plow so it makes easier work of that when that other one I had I sold it uh, in fact I sold it for a good bit I got like 40 40 something thousand for it but uh, I don't know if you saw this or not last I don't think you did I, I bought this uh, John Deere HX 15 uh, bush hog really is what I call it uh, but a uh, grass cutter it works really good uh, I think you've seen all this before I offloaded my pallets of seed just in here for to get them out of the way and let's see we need to do some fertilizing and I may do that this episode because this field well let's see let's just hop in the pickup truck I need to go check out something else too so we'll drive up to field 60 area and check that out well let's go right down the road here I'm gonna check out field number 11 and show you that then we'll head up to field 60 and, and take a look Yeah, I'm a little surprised at uh, the views that the last video, or the first video, I guess I should say, in this series got. Uh, when I last checked, I think it was up to 112 or something like that, which is pretty good. It's actually uh, better than I thought it was going to, because I figured y'all wouldn't want to watch uh, farming, but uh, I guess some people liked it and watched it. So that's good. I'm really having fun with this. Uh, now, again, don't get me wrong, I'm not getting away from the logging stuff, but uh, doing the farming side of it is actually kind of fun. Yeah, so this uh, field right here uh, it needs to lime, it needs to be fertilized, you know, so before I replant anything, I'll have to do all that. And like I said, I've only got, you know, just less than $28,000, so I'm really going to have to watch it. Um, so, like I said, I need some way to generate some income, and I th the only thing I can think of with what I've got right now is either take out more of a loan, which I really don't want to, because... I'm kind of, you know, really dreading even having done what I did because it's going to take a while to pay that back. But uh, anyway, uh, y'all let me know what I can do. I mean, so like I said, I have not planted that field yet right there, obviously. Uh, so what is going to give me the most uh, income yield? I was looking at some of the prices. Uh, and again, I, I, oops, that's the wrong one. Uh, I don't really know. I, I gotta go back and look and see what all these symbols mean, but it looks to me like I think that's cotton. Could be wrong. And I know that requires special, um, you know, special equipment and stuff, which I really don't want to purchase any of that or lease it or anything at this point. So I'm going to need something that I've already got. So I've got a grain header and I've got a corn header. And of course i got my mower and stuff for making hay and straw bales and stuff. Um, I, I want to say that's soybeans. Um, so that looks pretty high. Although, let's see, I think that's, uh, I think that's wheat and that's maybe barley and that's canola. I've got some still left in storage. I've still got a good bit of that left in storage. I could sell that, I suppose. But um, let's see, 249, 272, and 276. That looks like it's pretty, pretty high. I could plant canola, I suppose. Let's see, sunflowers are high, but I'm not really sure, you know, what is needed to harvest those. I have to look into that. 
Um, let's see, potatoes I've heard take a long time. Of course, I'm not running seasons, so I guess maybe it's not too bad. Uh, or maybe that's cotton. I don't know. Poplar I'm not going to fool with. Uh, let's see, I guess that's milk. And some of this other stuff is probably solid and you know manure and things like that, which I don't have yet. So it looks to me at this point that either I'm going to be growing wheat, barley, canola, or I guess that's soybeans. Somewhere in this category. So let me know what you think. What's the easiest? All right, so let's continue on up to field number 60. I'll show you what's going on up there. We still got to get a tractor or two up here. Uh, the combine's still up at field 60. And what I'll do is uh, just off camera since it'll take so long. I'll, I'll uh, create a follow me convoy. <laughs> That's what I did get get everything up there. And uh, we'll just haul everything back at one time. But like I said, today is just going to be like a, maybe a 30 minute video just to kind of catch you up on what all's been going on. We might do a little bit of work, but most likely with all the driving time and stuff I'm just gonna uh, just do a little, little drive through tour most likely and yeah I could just tab over to the combine but it's kinda fun to drive sometimes gives it more of a realistic feel I'll tell you what, this truck is quiet. It must be have a stock exhaust and whenever you go into the cab it gets even even quieter. I think you still hear the engine a little bit and exhaust a little bit. But yeah, I've been having a lot of fun on this map. I tell you it's uh it's really cool with the the train uh is extremely long. I haven't counted the cars yet, but there's gotta be I don't know, at least twenty or thirty cars on there. So it takes a while, you have to sit there. And uh, what's really cool too is the course play. Uh, I've got a course play set up uh, to drive up to field 60, and right up here we're coming up to it. Uh, there's a a uh, train crossing, and what it'll do is really neat. Uh, I guess I just haven't really noticed this, but so if course play makes a left-hand turn here and the crossbars are down, the the tractor or whatever will stop right here. And it'll say it's in traffic, but it's just waiting. And then once the crossbars go up and the lights turn off and all that good stuff, then it'll continue on its course. It's pretty cool. I guess it's got the. Uh, I'm using, I believe I'm using all the in game stuff, so it's probably got all the correct uh, traffic collisions and stuff built in. Now this field to the left is one I was looking at originally, but it's like sixty something thousand dollars. It's just a big old hay field. I mean, just lots and lots and lots of grass. But I decided that with my money I could get field sixty and the one below it for less than this one field right here. And uh, field sixty already had uh, wheat planted on it, so I could go ahead and harvest that and sell it and make straw bales and all that good stuff okay so this field to the left right here we own this uh, it looks like it's ready to be cut again uh, or if not it's getting close it's maybe in the final stage or something let me look and see all right we got grass turned on so growth yeah see it's ready to harvest again and then back here uh, field 13 we just I just planted that finished it up uh, last night and I fast forwarded through the night so it uh, looks like to me that there's maybe one more growth stage before that's ready to be harvested so it won't, won't be long so then that'll give us uh, fields 2 this whole area right here between the pond and field 14 and field 13 all that right in there I can harvest uh, grass and then field 13 is a pretty good size there I think 11 acres or something and then this area right here this around this pond so kind of right in through here you can see the little dots those little dots are trees but kind of right in through here around this uh, area and the pond 
all that's pretty good size area too so all this right in here we can harvest uh, is a lot and a lot of grass <laughs> and then this up here uh, it's quite a bit too because you see these little fingers of trees right here that kind of go down you see I can there's a little pass behind them which is pretty cool so I can mow up through there and come around the back side here and mow all up in there <coughs> So I think it's in the first cuttable stage right here. We'll wait just a little bit longer so it's fully uh, grown and we'll cut it all again. That's kind of a weird place to cut too because when you go to windrow that it's kind of strange. You can see there's the tractor with the grass collector on it. I haven't taken that back to the shop or the house yet. The farm. But on up around the corner here is where we had our wheat operation that I've already harvested and it's ready to be plowed. And I need to get a tractor up here with the plow and get a course play route set up for that to plow the field when it's do its thing. And there's the combine and our uh, header and then the trailer, well the tractor with the uh, baler on it, that's done. And then the chaser wagon, I guess that's what it's called. But yeah, this is it's pretty neat little field here. Uh, again, it's just it's kind of small. Let me see if I can look at the acreage. Yeah, so about uh, uh, about 16 acres or so here. And again, this is all these fields on this map are generally kind of odd shape, which is kind of cool because it's you know realistic. But it just sort of meanders around down through here, and there's like a little finger back here that uh, it's kind of skinny, little skinny spot. Yeah, right back in here, just a little little finger sticks out. And then the edge of the map's just to our left over there, not far. So anyway, got all that uh, wheat uh, processed and delivered and sold. Got the straw bales made and picked up already. I sold all those at the uh, Galt Co-op, which is uh, the top of the map there. Uh, got pretty good prices on some of that. Got nearly a thousand dollars for a, a full load of uh, straw bales, so that helps some. But yeah, I need to get a pile up there and get that started. And I'll do that off camera. And so right now what I'm going to do is I'm going to get in this tractor right up here and get it started back towards the, the, the house. Let me get that course uh, loaded in here. Field 60 hay to house. Drive course. Activate it. Stop at the last point. So when that gets back to the house, I'll offload the uh, the pickup wagon, and then I'll send it back up here, and we'll go pick up the uh, the chaser wagon for the the grain thing that don't need to be up there anymore until we're ready to harvest it again. Yep, so it's it's moving along. I mean, uh, like I said, I, my main concern right now is I'm not wanting to mod any more money in. So how do I generate some income? And my only thing I can think of is to just grind it out by, you know, making uh, hay bales and planting some type of either grain or corn or something. And, you know, waiting for that to finish growing and then... Uh, sell that and repeat the process over and over again but that's about the only thing I can think of so uh, y'all let me know what you think in the comments what I need to do and if 
we have to grind it out what I'll do is I'll just continue playing on like I have been and then uh, you know pop in every once in a while and give you some updates on what's going on and we'll get the loan repaid and maybe purchase some more land with another loan and then you know just make our operation a little bigger which is what I want to do because eventually I'd like to have an operation to where maybe I've got a couple of different combines um, you know, uh, two or three more tractors, another 18-wheeler and flatbed and grain hauler and all that stuff and just kind of double up everything and get two operations going because once, once I can get course play lined out good, the, the problem I had, I, I was trying to use uh, course play on field number 11 to harvest the grain. Let's see, I think this is... Oh yeah, see here, here right here, it's, it's hung up by the, tra uh, the train, so it just waits until the train goes by, and then it'll continue on its course, which is pretty cool. Yep, so there it goes, and then we'll wait for it to finish flashing. <coughs> Alright, so then it takes off, it's pretty cool. It's pretty neat. But yeah, on field number 11, I was trying to use the combine with a course play route to harvest, and that worked fine for the most part. I needed to put, instead of one headland, I needed to do like two or three, I think, because those trees are awfully close to the edges, and it was getting hung up on the edges. But but the problem was when I, I was trying to use the, the little chaser grain wagon thing, course play was having uh, like none of it because it was kept crashing into the combine and all kind of weird stuff so I was just having to manually do it and that takes a while longer but the combine doesn't fill up very fast so it's easy to keep up so what I may end up having to do is if I get two going instead of having two combines run at the same time I may just have to harvest one field and uh, keep up with the little chaser wagon myself and then start the next field and repeat it Anyway, we'll get it all worked out. Get it, get it going good somehow. So I'm thinking that that lime is in sort of a pellet form, and that kind of sucks because I don't have anything to spread that with. So I'm gonna have to lease some equipment. Yeah, see, I've I've got this uh, fertilizer sprayer, but I don't have anything that'll spread lime. Yep. Okay, so let's look at that real quick and see what we can do. Um, fertilizer technology. So this small one's 30, 39000 and We can't even afford that right now. Um, leasing costs, though, let me look. So it's going to cost us almost $2,000 to lease that. And then... Per day is three hundred and ninety dollars. Golly. Hmm. Well, there is this other thing. But see, I don't know if that. I guess that takes lime. Let me look and see. It may not, because I think I think that right there is lime. So that'd be like uh, solid fertilizer, and that's something. I'm not sure what that is. And that I guess I'm guessing that's the lime because I used. Uh, oh, the other thing I could do. Yeah, I forgot about this. The other thing I could do is uh, is do some contracts, which I have done. Uh, I've uh, done some uh, fertilizing, and I tried doing some deliveries, but I couldn't figure out where to drop it, the thing off at. 
so yeah, uh, let's look at contracts. So, you know, there is some stuff in here. You know, some cultivating wouldn't be bad. Uh, of course, you'd have to lease the equipment I, or borrow it. I couldn't, you know, afford to buy anything. But this is a, definitely an option. I forgot about this. But see, these, uh, these transport missions, I tried doing one of these. And the problem with that was, so it had me pick up something down here at um, the Chula Co-op in the bottom right corner with, you know, near our farm. And it had me take it all the way up to, I think it was somewhere near field 38 or 27, somewhere over there. And I couldn't ever figure out where to put it. Uh, there wasn't any markers. Uh, the little red dot that was there, I tried putting, it was pallets of fertilizer. I tried putting that right on the dot and moved it all around that area and it wouldn't take it. So I don't know what I was doing wrong or maybe the map's not set up to do transport missions, but... These uh these other missions, uh you know the harvesting and and the sowing and fertilizing, cultivating stuff like that, all that works great. So I may end up doing a bunch of these because like this cultivating would be pretty easy. Uh, I'm not so big on the harvesting because they also want you to uh, deliver it, and it's like good grief. I mean, nine hundred and sixty-one dollars. I don't think so. Uh, but cultivating, fertilizing, and sowing might not be a bad thing. Of course, now the, the bad thing with the sowing is you have to go uh, fill up your tool. See right here it says make sure to fill the tool with seeds. <laughs> so <laughs> you can't even provide the seeds, Mr. James Harris. Come on. Um, but yeah, we'll do some of these missions, I think, and get some money built up. But I'll be doing some of that stuff off camera anyway. All right, let me see how my tractor's doing. All right, he's almost back to the house, so I'm going to wait for this tractor to get back here. We'll offload that uh, pickup wagon, and I'll send him back up towards the uh, field 60 with the plow. I'll hook up to the plow here, get that up there. And then I'll unhook that and hook back up to the grain chaser wagon thing and make us a little convoy with the combine, the baler, and the chaser wagon and get all that back here to the farm but I'll do that off camera so anyway hope you enjoyed this video a little update video and we'll be back, be back soon hopefully with some uh, you know some actual action maybe a time lapse or something but uh, I didn't figure that most people would want to sit through a bunch of you know just wheat harvesting and all that stuff but maybe maybe one of these videos will do it but anyway, hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching. We'll catch you next time.